council comments. I was just, uh, you know, earlier you heard the members of the public, I'm looking for my notes here, what I do with them, mm -hmm. talking about some of the crime that's happening. And sometimes I, I think that what we need to do instead of, I wish we could direct a lot of the thought process as far as a review board, instead of a police review board, but more of a citizen, citizen's uh, review board to find out what exactly took place on bail reform. You know, I, I really believe that, that when the public voted it, there was nothing that said anything about the Arnold tool. So the Arnold tool is something that the Supreme Court told the judges that they had to use as a means of whether or not they could stay in jail or not. And I think that that, in my opinion, is unconstitutional. I don't think the Supreme Court makes laws. I think they just interpret it. And, and I think it's the legislature that makes the laws. And so I've been thinking, based on the comments that I that this, uh, some of the residents here, I think I'm gonna use my various Tuesdays, not all the Tuesdays, you know, um, I'm still staying pretty busy, but I think I'd like to at least have some discussion with that. So I'm gonna be looking at various Tuesdays between now and, and uh, the holidays, I guess, and hear some comments on that. Because I really think that that is where a lot of it lies. Because if the Supreme Court tells district court, hey, you need to follow this Arnold tool, which is like a litany list of like 15 things before they can stay in jail, that alleged shooter who killed that officer in Alamogordo would still be in jail, in my opinion. If that's, because I, I, I couldn't look for, I, I was looking for it to find out, but I, I read somewhere where uh, he'd been, this person had been involved in an altercation and was released. You don't, that, that's just not right. So that's, um, I'm gonna do my best to find out, get to the bottom of that one. Mayor Pro Tem? 